So bank statement wahala, a little bit easy. <laughs> All right, let's check out the story, yeah? So somebody got a visa to go to the U.S. without a bank statement. Whoa, how did that happen? This is Chaco Melania. If you're watching this video, like it and make sure you're sharing them so that a lot more people can learn about traveling and the right decision making. All right, so this gentleman, this is somebody, true story, valid story. I confirm, like when I say confirm, it means I know the person, all right? <laughs> This person got an admission to a United States uh, university, a U.S. university. Got admission, right? And you know how the process is, your I-20, your service fee, what have you, blah, 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 for the U.S. You guys who know U.S. more, you know, I I'm just a Canadian guy. <laughs> All right. Charlie, one statement, wahala. Guy no get, mother no get, uncles no get. You know, mother salary no they reach anywhere. My guy needs to go for his U.S. visa interview. Somebody offered his mother an option. So I know an agent who does bank statement and will run your account for you. It's not fake. According to the agent, that's what the agent told the mother. It's not fake. We are going to run the account for you. You just give us any name you want. Yeah, Give us any name you don't want. You go run the account, give you nice, legit. You go print and give you the back. And they say, you know, we'll charge you just 2,500 Ghana cities. Hmm? Go around, give you, but just everything. Don't worry, your son, take care of him. We've been doing it for people. They've gone to US, they've gone to Europe, they've gone to US. Is it? The mother almost believed it too. Hmm. Say something in the spirit, say, no, that's not right. <laughs> I know we'll do. The son, listen to what the son did. The son, having developed a strong mindset, yeah. believing that he will get a visa. You know what the son did? He booked his U.S. visa interview. Went for the visa, dressed so well. Went for the visa interview. Was so confident, prepared for the interview. Prayed in his mind that the visa officer will not check his physical documents that he went there with, including bank statement. Truth is, he went there with no bank statement, just a file, looking confident ready to answer questions Daddy. lo and behold the officer asked all the questions why do you want to go to the u.s what are you going to study and blah 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 and blah 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 my guy was confident answering the questions prepared praying in his head that the officer would not say can i see your bank statement and guess what happened the officer did not ask for the bank statement he said your visa has been approved can we have your passport he said, yes, sir. Give them the passport. Boom, stamped in. So you're speaking right now. A gentleman is in the United States. Now, for those who ask about how is he paying his face? God was good. When he arrived, he was able to find favor before some employees of the university. In fact, one woman decided to take him as a son, provided him with food, help him with accommodation. They even did their best to help him secure scholarship to cover the cost of his tuition. What God cannot do does not exist, isn't it? This is a bank statement wahala video. Those of you who think miracles don't happen, they do. So before you go and use an agent, just remember, will your agent pass Chaco Millionaire's test? What is Chaco Millionaire's test for bank statement? I've been doing it for people. They all got a visa. I did it for my brother. I did it for my mother. They have all gone. This is Chaco Millionaire's test to such agents. Or for you, who wants to use that agent? Question number one. You've done it for everybody else. Why are you here? Everybody who did it for the gun, why are you here? Even if you don't want to ask him, ask yourself that question. Question number two. I want to trust you and believe you 100%. Would you allow me to work with you inside that bank? Stand right by your side or whoever is a sponsor for them to print it for the machine to cry. Boom, they stamp it. They will go out and give it to me. Would you be willing to do that? If the agent said no, he has failed the credibility test. He's fake. And I want to let you know there are so many people working in banks who are not who they say they are. Some of them connive with fake agents and make money off them.
That is why you have to shine your eye. There are people working in banks who are more fake than fake agents. They are the ones who teach them actually how to do some of these things. That is why you must have your eyes open and be as seriously sharp like a fox. See what I mean? If I ain't going to the bank with you, standing there, the printer printing it, chuckle, 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 it's fake. <laughs> Especially if I'm paying you for it. <laughs> chuckle says so. Pass the test and come and prove me wrong. You know why I prefer this method? Because when things go bad, you can go to the damn bank and request that on this day you were here. Printed a statement given to you by a teller. You know the teller's name. You're requesting that they pull their CCTV camera for you can see what happened. That way you can sue the damn bank. <laughs> but I know you won't do it. Wisdom is profitable to those who want it. My name is Chakamalani. I'm not a comedian. Let me have fun. Bye-bye. Take care.